welcome to the show This is my show Thanks for tuning in Here it comes again Testing, hello, what's up guys? I'm making this really quick because I messed up and double booked today and I really want to get this out though. Um, I feel like this is a very important subject and I feel very passionate here recently to talk about it and I've put it off a couple of times and I feel like it just needs to get out. So here we go. I don't want to go into too much detail either because I would like this to be able to be digested and perhaps spark up some conversation with others for a better understanding of the common human struggle of depression. Uh, I, I want to encourage people to share their own struggles and experiences, even setbacks, if you're willing to discuss that or throw that information out there. Suggestions you might have for others going through similar stuff. I actually started writing this a couple of weeks ago after having some random thoughts about death and uh, scary scenarios, and I just felt like I needed to write about it for some reason. So that's what I did, and here I am trying to finally get it out of my head. I have to mention that I don't have any books on depression or uh, anxiety. I haven't read a bunch of articles or anything like that. I'm just trying to approach this a little differently and trying to get a better community and I guess uh, overall support around depression and anxiety at more of a ground level with the ones fighting the battle. Not a lot of people reach out about their depression or anxiety or whatever, whether it be a pride or embarrassment or fear, uh, whatever the case, that's, that's what we need to go away. We need to not have these feelings of fear or repercussions of some sort for expressing what's going on inside your head that's maybe kind of driving you crazy a little bit you know not not literally crazy like a crazy person but it's just it's really bothering you a lot and maybe someone else out there is experiencing something very similar and knows how to bypass it somehow or might have some suggestions to knock down the intensity somehow or something but you won't know if you don't reach out so that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to encourage people to reach out and to have conversation, open conversation with other people who might be going through the same things or know someone going through the same things and really have a different um, opinion than some uh, therapist that's just talked to a bunch of people but maybe haven't actually lived it. In no way am I saying that it's uh, therapists wouldn't be helpful or anything like that. That's, that's uh, yes, talk to somebody, talk to a therapist, get a therapist, whatever. Uh, I'm just saying if the therapist hasn't lived the same situation, then maybe talking to other people that have could be more beneficial to you yourself, not, not everyone. Anyway, I'm getting into too much detail, I think. Uh, what I want to do is I really want to understand people, what their mind is is going through when they feel like they're, you feel like you have some sort of clinical depression. Um, if you have, if you're sitting there for eight hours a day, not doing anything, or um, just kind of blankly going through the day and going through your physical habitual motions, not really engaging in anything, what's going on in your head at, like, at any of those moments throughout the day? Does, does anything stick out of uh, something you kept telling yourself that was wrong or that was uh, that could be wrong later or that was stressing you out or scaring you or uh, uh, missing a loved one, uh, lost loved one or anything like that? What I want, I'm so curious to know if there are correlations in some sort of depression trigger of some sort. You know, I've actually thought about maybe it being something that happened in your childhood that you suppressed somehow and it just turned itself into some sort of other internal negativity and self-loathing or whatever, whatever it is that tortures you. 
enough where it's ev- uh, even a physical uh, thing where either you don't have any physical drive or you're physically ill or very weak or that's that, that would uh, that actually takes me to anxiety where what have some of you experienced with anxiety is it uh, does it link to depression for you or does that seem to be a common thing to you or is it just uh, uh, its own thing where you're just stressing about work or uh, relationship or whatever and that's just your response is you just have this like panic attack and uh, it's just overloaded anxiety which I've already talked about on the podcast before but I'll keep doing it because it needs to be talked about just the same as depression where people are a little shy or afraid or whatever the case that they don't want to talk about their anxiety if it's mental or physical or both Um, but to keep this going I I keep sinking my teeth into it and wanting to chew but I, I want to keep this fairly short because I want more people to hear it people to hear it and um yeah so yeah moving on uh thoughts about death which I I believe I mentioned earlier uh, for instance the other day uh, I say the other day this was several weeks ago now I was finding myself I was on the highway I was I was thinking of just random things and the uh, event that I was attending later in the night I randomly thought about all these uh, random mass shootings recently and or lately whatever and I just I, I thought man that would what would I do if that were to happen you know, tonight, like tonight's the night. That's, that's, that's what happens. And it was really scary to think about. And immediately after that, there was an 18 wheeler that started kind of, uh, moving around in his lane or her lane. And I then, I guess, since I'm thinking about death, I thought about, you know, what if, uh, that happened in the they lost control and I was pinned between them and the wall or another vehicle or whatever. And that would be it for me. I'd just be, I mean that there's no, there was no control. The scenario I pictured in my head offered me no escape. And it was, that was another scary feeling and it was back to back. And that's, it's, it was weird. Um, I don't really think about that kind of stuff, but it just came to me that day and that's why I had to, uh, I had to write it down and I wanted to talk about that because maybe somebody else has experienced something like that or, uh, or that's what they're going through constantly or whatever. I, I have no idea, but that would be great to know. It would be great to know that what people, people, I can't say people, what people are going through out there so we can, you know, better understand each other and respect each other along with thoughts of death or suicidal thoughts, which are similar um, and often associated with depression. That's another thing that I don't have much experience with other than one time, which uh, a few of you out there might know this story that I've told, but I was meditating in the shower. Yes, yeah, sometimes I take long showers and meditate because meditation in water is really great. Uh, it's so much easier to do. I need to meditate, by the way. I've I've I haven't done it in I think a week at least now, and I am <clears throat> anyway. I was meditating in the shower, and my mind took a turn somewhere, and I thought about all the stress I've had recently, just kind of accumulated all of it somehow, and put it in my field of vision, and. I also brought in worries in my life and disappointments in my life and all these things. I just, I just like clumped them up and put them right in front of my face. And what is that Mustang? Uh, Then I thought about uh, what it would feel like to completely erase all of it. Just all of that gross stuff that I just balled up right in front of my face. What if that just went away completely? What kind of amazing freedom that would feel, that would feel like it would just be Oh, just a huge relief, right? Well, I feel like maybe people think about suicide that way. They don't have to think about anything anymore, right? Of course, that sounds great. But in this reality, it doesn't make sense to do that. There are not many people on this planet who are not loved in some way by someone. And to deny someone that 
or uh, maybe that's extremely insensitive of me to say because now I'm I'm denying the uh, wishes of the person committing the act. But still, if there's no consideration of the people out there that love you and would do anything for you, if you maybe reached out to them more and told them what you were going through, or uh, you know maybe you have and maybe that's or maybe people have and that, that was just their last resort. Um, I've really never understood it until that moment in the shower. This is like a, within a year. So I've always had a very, very, I don't know, disconnected feeling about suicide and, and, and honestly judgmental. But now I do understand it more, though I still think it's a, a horrible decision. De- depending on, you know, if you're very old and very disabled and you don't have any reason that you want to be here anymore. I'm not going to judge you. I, I would probably feel the same way. But anyway, that's not what I'm trying to focus on here. Uh, you know what? I'm losing my train of thought, and I'm going to go ahead and take that as a let's get out of here. I think I've put enough out there to uh, hopefully spark up some sort of I don't know, something. I just made a new Facebook page this week, so maybe go out there and I'll make a post about this and you can leave a comment or shoot me a message or whatever, but I don't want to I don't want this to be the end of this conversation by far. Uh let's see. Another thing that I had that I wanted to mention before I stop here is if you're having negative thoughts when you're feeling depressed um or reoccurring thoughts that um, that seem to happen when you're depressed, I would suggest writing those down in detail. Just writing writing down everything. And honestly, if you're able to uh, retain or happy thoughts, I'm sorry, remember thoughts in your head when you're not depressed or when you're happier, if some of those thoughts stick out or if you have reoccurring thoughts in that way, I would suggest writing that out as well. And maybe with all this stuff that you've written out, you can refer back to it and see if that, maybe if something triggers something. So if you're, you know, you don't want to launch yourself into depression, but I mean, if you're happy and you have certain things that you think about that make you depressed, if you were to look at a piece of paper and see those things and you're immediately just crushed and you stay crushed, then there's, there's something to that. I don't know. I'm not saying to, I'm not saying to do that. Cause I mean, as I'm saying it, it sounds awful. You don't want to do that to yourself, but you get what I'm trying to, I hope you get what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to pinpoint something. I'm trying to find the triggers. I'm trying to find the reason why. And maybe, like I said, I don't have any books about the stuff. I haven't read enough about it. So maybe a lot of this, uh, of my questions have already been answered. But once again, I'd like to hear it from the people out in the field who are experiencing this firsthand and maybe haven't said anything before and want to or would say things often, but maybe haven't had any sort of platform. I, I don't have a platform, not, I mean, at least not yet, maybe one day, but uh, there's still some sort of interaction here. I have a few people that will probably react to this. So um, <clears throat> I'm also losing my voice now. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm done. I got to take a shower. I got to meet with uh, people. So anyway, Thanks for listening, guys, and please, please, please offer suggestions or uh, make comments about, like I said, your own struggles and experiences and things you've gone through that might be helpful for others, or you can reach out and someone could help you. Maybe I could. Maybe uh, someone can help me. I don't don't know. Anyway, until next time, goodbye. Rusty's escape pod.